Well, hi-ho, folks, and welcome back to the adventures of Turwinkle, the Gnome Mage. Well, hi, Turwinkle. Hello. Are you all set for tonight, sir? Indubitably. Well, great, because as you can see, we are here in Draenor, and we are here to attend an event put on by the Shator Guild on Warmest Accord, a fun event called the J Jedheen. And so, without further ado, let us go and, go and find out all about it and join in some of the fun. So we'll be right back as we start to watch this awesome event, again, put on by the Shator Guild called the Jedheen. Alrighty, folks. Well, we had... Uh, Vindicator Talir here. He's the Exarch of the Shator. Hammer of Karanos, Exarch again of the Shator. Is Prelit Talir, Talir and is a level 100 Draenei Paladin. Well, hello, sir. Hey, how's it going? It's going well. Now, we're here at the J Jedheen, and so tell the folks out there what the Jedheen is all about. Jedheen is a 100% fan made head cannon that I believe started on the European server Argent Dawn, but it's a competitive full contact wrestling sport. So think judo meets sumo wrestling, where the res each wrestler attempts to force the other one into a submission within a large circular ring, or the, person to fo or the other person is forced out of the ring, which is why it kind of very similar to sumo wrestling. The, the headcanon goes that the sport originated in Argus, where it was practiced both professionally and as a way to, as a, a spiritual ritual to, as like a, a coming of manhood. Um, typically it is, typically it's done just between male Drenais, but because, it, again, it is headcan, we allow both the male and female Drenais to do it together because, you know, we're not, we're not about to limit people's, uh, RP based on head cannon. That's right. You know the uh, the drone I have become a little bit more progressive. Yeah, definitely. All right, excellent. Well, so folks, with that, we're gonna sit back and watch some of this event. Hey, you never know. Turwinkle might get in the ring and and take a few people out. So uh, we'll <laughs> see. We'll see if that happens. So all right, excellent. So we'll be right back as we start to watch some of this fun fun event called the Jadeen. So we'll be right back with that. All right, folks, we're going to talk to uh, Nuwanta here, the Rangari Prime of the Shator. His nickname Nua, or Booming Arrow, or Scout, and is a consul of the Shator. Oh, and Talera is speaking, so feel free, folks, to read all his wonderful posts here. But uh, while he's doing that, ma'am, uh, how long have you guys been running this event? We've been running it since I have been in the guild, and that's been a little over six months now. Ah, and how often do you hold the uh, the event? We hold it once a month, and it's uh, it's on a Wednesday, normally the second or third Wednesday of the month, depending on participation. Oh, okay, and do you usually see a pretty good turnout for it? Most days we do. Sometimes we have more watchers than we do participants, but I think tonight we have a pretty good turnout of those who are going to be re in the wrestling mood. Right now. When two participants come up into the ring, is how how is it done? Are you, is it all emote? Is it a D20 system? How how do you guys do the event? It is a mixture of emote and D10s. You will do a slash roll ten, and the higher winning number gets the point. They are allowed to emote their action, and of course the person then emotes against the reaction. Oh, okay. Well, that's uh, I I love that uh, that you combine the two because you know for me emoting the entire thing I always feel like I'm god modding if I'm blocking everything or you know I fi I find it hard to find that balance and so when you have that random mix in there with the roll um, I think that really makes it exciting because not everything is going to uh, be perfect and so I really like that. It definitely helps cut down and it gives people who say have a maybe a weaker character in physical strength the ability to still possibly outwit said stronger person. Ah, so even Termicle could hop up here and uh, beat up uh, old Talir. Those short little legs, you know, make him trip up. That's right, he's wily. He might not be the strongest, but he's wily <laughs> and wiry. Turnwinkle's a little wiry too, so. 
Now I will note there is no magic and no weapons allowed during Jitty. Oh, uh, well, um... <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> you, you just uh, limited his chances there, you know. I thought, you know, Frostbolt here or there uh, would certainly help, but... Uh, okay. <laughs> Alrighty, folks. Well, we're going to continue to watch and enjoy this awesome event put on by the Shator. So I'll be right back with some more of this fun, fun event. Alrighty, Talir, who do we have up first here? First up, we have Vindicator Varistus, who is part of our Council of War and an Oath Sworn against one of our people, one of our newest members, a Hulan, who is also a Vindicator for the Hand of Argus. So it'll be interesting to see who uh, who comes out on top. Oh, uh, any predictions, sir? I got my money on Varistus. All right, excellent. So, all right, Hulan. folks. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Uh, do we have any uh, gold placed on this uh, little wager? What do you think, Tilly? 5k? Wow! Yeah, we can put 5k. We can, I'll, I'll match your 5k. Wow, okay, here you go, folks. When we come back, we will find out who uh, who's getting 5k here. Woo! All right. <laughs> we'll be right back with that. Alrighty, folks. Well, the first rolls have happened, and... Again, it is the first person to four points, isn't that correct, uh, Talir? Yes. All right, so there's basically, then I guess, well, it could be several rounds. So whoever gets to four points first, and again, that's on a roll of one to ten, and the highest roll wins the point, and then they emote what they've done, as you can see here. And, uh, and so it's exciting. So who won the first point there? That would be Varistus. Ah, okay. One point to Varus. So, and that's who you're rooting for, is that correct, sir? Uh, it's, it's not technically who I'm rooting for. It's, it's who I think is good. Right, that's that's the 5K you have I riding on. I can't play Yeah. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, we'll be back to see who has gotten to the four points first and who has won 5K. All righty, Talir. The final score, sir? Ah. Uh, Seems like I lost my bet. <laughs> yes, it was five to one for Ulan. Yeah, four to one for a Hulan. Uh, he wiped the floor with Varistus. I'm gonna have to have a talk I with do. that space go later. <laughs> I do believe I know my drain I meet very well. Wow. <laughs> All right. Excellent. So, folks, we'll see who's up next. And boy, that was quite a turnaround from right off the get go. He did a great job, ran across, but. Uh, uh, the younger Draenei was uh, able to overpower him and, and uh, pin him to the floor. So, well done, and a lot of fun to watch. All right, who do we have stepping into the ring next, sir? Next, we have one of our officers in the Regari Prime of the Shtor Nuanta against uh, one of our Krokrol, our broken, our peers, Thamar. Okay, now, Nuanta, what's your strategy here? Take him down fast and quick. Wow, okay, you heard it here, folks. She's, her plan is one of quickness overcomes strength. Okay, so we are going to uh, see how this turns out. Good luck, ma'am. Thank you. All right, folks, it's currently two to one in favor of Nuanta. And she came out real quick, but she seemed to tire here. And so gave a point back to her opponent. So uh, we'll keep you updated. It's it's she started off with a nine ten. Well, he's fat. What do you expect? <laughs> started, started off with a nine ten, but then tired out. So she's at a she rolled a two. And so we'll see where she goes from here. Well, folks, just as we had thought, Duanta started out too quickly. And she was slowly overpowered by her opponent, Thamar, and eventually lost four to two in a fun, fun round. And so congratulations to Thamar. Again, strength winning over quickness this time. And so <laughs> a v it was very close there, especially when it was three to two. Everybody was on pins and needles. Would it go four to three? And uh, But unfortunately uh, for Nuanta, uh, she was able, unable to break that low rolling streak. And so what a lot of fun. As you can see, there's quite a few folks here enjoying the event. And so uh, 
we are going to see who's up next. And, you know, again, I, I may, Turwinkle may hop in here. He, you know, again, he's small, but he's wiry. So, <laughs> but a fun role play event nonetheless. All righty, Talir, who do we have next in the ring? Next up, we have Alicia versus Vaniella. All right, and what are we thinking here, guys? Vanny, the underdog. And why is she the underdog, ma'am? She has very little confidence in her skill. Okay, well, this is also a good confidence builder, is it not? It should be. All right, folks, so we will find out who is the victor. And again, this has been a lot of fun and very exciting to watch because you never know. The tides certainly swing back and forth, so a lot of fun. Alrighty, folks, it's three to nothing in favor of Alicia. And she is just kicking butt right now, so <laughs> we'll see if Vanny can uh, make a comeback. Well, there we have it, folks, four to nothing. Alicia certainly took it to Vanny in this one, folks. And, you know, uh, so was that your uh, strategy all along, sir? Totally. I had that plan since the beginning. Right. Just put her right out of her misery and, and uh, get this over and done with. Well done. <laughs> all right, folks. Well, we'll come back with our next round of contestants and we'll see how they fare. Alrighty, folks, well, we've moved on to the semifinal round, and so, Talir, who do we have in the semifinals? We have Thamar and Alicia. Alright, so, Alicia, what is your strategy here, sir? I uh, hope I don't roll ones. <laughs> Alright, good strategy. Excellent. And again, it is quickness versus strength, and we'll see if uh, Alicia is in a little better shape than uh, Nuwanta. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, it is three to zero in favor of the Mar at the moment, but you never know; it could turn around, uh, sir. So, what's what's your strategy? You've lured him in now. It's set, now you're ready to spring the trap. Is that not correct, sir? Oh yeah, I have got him overconfident and I will roll four tens in a row and take them right out. All right, excellent. You've lured him in and now the trap is sprung. Excellent. So folks, when we come back, we should see uh, Alicia's hand being raised in the center of the ring. Oh, well folks, unfortunately, <laughs> the best laid plans have, have fallen uh, short this evening. So congratulations to Thamar, and better, lex better luck next time, sir. Yeah, I'll get him next time. That's right. This is the long con. We're not going for just this little, little win here in the semifinals. This is the, you know, this is the long con. We're going for the grand championship. Is that is that not correct? Yes, I will be number one victor in the whole Shator. Excellent. <laughs> All righty. Now, Talir, what is it about this event that you enjoy the most sir i i really enjoy seeing how our members work together to make the the fight immersive for everybody else around them. i really i really do enjoy reading the emotes and watching the action and kind of piecing it together in my head how how it would look if i was watching a movie that kind of stuff it's just it's a blast right and it certainly gives a guild something other Something other to do than, you know, the regular PBE or guild meeting or, or that sort of thing. It certainly builds bonds within a guild, doesn't it? Absolutely. We've had several, char several people's characters actually become the best of friends bonding over their first jetting together. All right. Well, excellent. So, folks, when we come back, we're going to see the final, final round. So, we'll be right back with that. Alrighty, sir. We're here in the finals, so who do we have? We have Ahulan and Thamar. Alright, Ahulan and Thamar. Now, Thamar must be a little tired. Ulan, luckily, had won the, the bye, so he had a chance to rest. Terwinkle's going to hop out of the ring here. 
had a chance to rest, so we'll see if that helps him in the finals here. Alrighty, so the first roll is coming up. They're doing the honorable thing. They're bowing to one another. Oh, four for... Oh! Ulan comes out stronger. I have faith in the... <laughs> <laughs> you notice which one I decided to uh, vote for this time, yes? <laughs> Well, we'll see if your luck continues to hold, ma'am. If so, it will be the second or third uh, Jet he match the last one. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it is tied up one to one. Thamar, Thamar has come back uh, to beat Ulan for the second point. So it is now one to one, and again this fi in the finals here, and so it's so far proving to be worthy of the finals. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Thamar has taken the lead with a score of two to one. Will he continue his winning streak, or will it be ended here in the finals? We'll find out. Uh oh folks, the Mar has won another point. It is three to one. This could be it. The Mar could be the repeating champion of, of the, this week's event. So uh, we will see. Wow, folks, there it is. It's a tie. Can Ulan pull it out? He's got a five. It's still a tie. Holy smokes, ladies and gentlemen. Another reroll. Ulan's hanging on for dear life. Oh, no! Oh, wow! What a finish! What a finish, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. And a correction from my from last segment there. Uh, Thamar is this month's champion, and it looks like Thamar is going to retain his championship status. And congratulations to Thamar for winning this Jadeen. An excellent, excellent job, and he did so in really uh, a stunning fashion. And so, great job. And so, <laughs> and so with that, folks, we'll be right back. Woo! <laughs> Alrighty, folks, and we are here again with uh, the returning champion, Thamar. And uh, now, Talir, as the champion, what do they receive? They get two things. The first being an IC title that they can put in their MRP or TRP for the month, stating that they are the Shator Jedian champion. The second one is a crystalline medal. So Dre and I are known for their, their crystal work. So we had one of our artif artificers so soon create medals that they could collect and wear that would show how many times they had won our, our tournaments. So Thamar would be getting his third one now because he's won three. Wow. So now if Turnwinkle were to best him, would he uh, be able to uh, collect all those medals? I think that's a fair bet. <laughs> well, actually, folks, when we come back, hopefully Turnwinkle can convince one of the, uh, the co-leaders here to uh, an exhibition match. So we'll find out uh, coming up next. All right, ladies and gentlemen, in this corner, it is Turnwinkle, the mini fridge, no mage, versus his opponent across the ring, Talir, the fridge. What's what's the last name, Talir? Uh, there is no last name, Dren. I don't have last oh, name. Oh, that's right. Talir, <laughs> Talir, the fridge. So it's the fridge versus the mini fridge. And a one-on-one -on -one exhibition match here. So hopefully uh, we can do well. So folks, when we come back, we'll see how we did in the first first round. Alrighty, folks. Well, the first roll did not go to Wrinkle's way. He lost a roll of three to two. <laughs> so here comes the fridge. <laughs> oh, good lord. <laughs> so one zero to Talir. 
right, folks. Well, Turnwinkle came, he was able to roll forward and give Talir a mighty push from behind. Uh, so he rolled a 10 to Talir's 4. So it's now all tied up 1 to 1. Oh, boy. <laughs> Just hope Talir doesn't turn around. <laughs> All right, folks, Turwinkle has leapt into the lead. Not only leapt into the lead, but leapt onto the back of Talir. He's holding on for all he's worth and uh, trying his best to uh, do a submission hold on Talir. So we'll see if he can continue to, to hang on. Well, folks, you will not believe it. Turwinkle is still holding on with yet another 10 roll. And so... <laughs> Tillier's doing all he can to remove the mini fridge from the fridge. Will Terwinkle hold on for one more round to win this awesome, awesome event? We will. Uh oh, folks. <laughs> As you can see here, uh, Tillier was able to get Terwinkle off and uh, smashed him mightily to the floor, uh, knocking the wind out of poor Terwinkle. Will Terwinkle be able to get up? We'll find out. It's now three to two. Oh boy. Oh boy, ladies and gentlemen, it is tied up three to three. That's right. talir has got his hand placed on Terwinkle. Can Terwinkle wiggle his way out for victory? We'll find out next. Holy smokes. Here oh, well, there you have it, folks. Terwinkle was unable to escape Talir. He did an awesome job. What a great, great job, sir. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. That was that was a lot of fun. Really, really is. And so, folks, as you can see, events like this can really, really be so much fun. And I, I want to thank Talir for not uh, crushing Terwinkle. He was actually very nice to Terwinkle and uh, was very accommodating. And we we did a great job. One of the, I think, the most exciting uh, matches of the night. And certainly was right down to the wire there. And everybody was on pins and needles to see how this one would turn out. And a great, great job. Again, this is what makes these kind of events so much fun for everybody involved. You get to role play around it participate in it and again this is what makes role play that much fun folks so when we come back Terwinkle is going to give his final thoughts on this awesome event the Jandine by the Chateau we're going to get some uh, particulars for you folks how you can come and join in in the fun so we'll be right back with that all right, as this night comes to a close, let me just thank you guys for inviting me to come and enjoy this event with you. It was a lot of fun. Oh, thank you for coming. We we had a blast having you here, and our little bout at the end was the highlight of my night. It was mine as well. Now, now can you tell the folks out there how they can come and join you guys? Absolutely. They can seek out anyone in the guild, and they'll point at them to either myself Tasnia or one of our officers or you can visit our website at shator.shifter.com Alright and can they come and participate or uh, just watch? Is anyone uh, able to participate? Absolutely. This is completely open to the public. Our next one is September 16th at 5pm server time. Well there you go folks. As you can tell, a lot of fun and it's pretty it's pretty straightforward the rules are simple and I think the main rule is just have fun and enjoy the event and that's what I did thoroughly here tonight and so Turnwinkle is going to go put uh, an ice pack on his uh, chest and, <laughs> and so folks we will see you uh, with our final thoughts on this awesome event by the Chateau the Jadine and so we'll we'll see you next folks Alrighty, folks. Well, we've heard our way back to the Summer Terrace in the Shrine of the Seven Stars. And let me tell you, what a lot of fun that event was. We really enjoyed that, didn't we, Turwinkle? Sure. You bet. So let's give everybody a big thank you in the Chateau for inviting us and allowing us to participate in their fun event. Allow me to express my deepest thanks. Yes, thank you so very much, folks. 
And so, folks, if you like this episode, click that like button. If you would like to comment on this episode or on any of our previous episodes, please do so below. Let us know what you liked and what you didn't. And finally, if you would like to subscribe, well, we would love to have you. So hit that subscription button today. All right, Turnwinkle. Well, excellent job, sir. You did a, you did very well. More, you did better than I thought you were going to do there. And with that, Turnwinkle, I know you're going to go get in the sauna and maybe ice pack and <laughs> and do what you can to uh, alleviate some of the pain. And so, with that, sir, we will catch you next time. I'll miss you. We'll miss you too, Turnwinkle. Bye bye. <laughs>